If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. If receiving payment at the time of sale, you fill out a sales receipt to record the customer payment. When you invoice a customer and receive payment on that invoice at a later point in time, you enter the payment into the QuickBooks Receive Payments window. This allows you to match customer payments to customer invoices. To open this window, you can select Customers, Receive Payments from the menu bar. The simplest payment case occurs when a customer has one outstanding invoice and sends you a payment for the full amount. However, you can also enter partial amounts if you receive them. You can even select to which invoices you apply the payment amount. If you receive one payment, you can apply the amount to multiple invoices as well. QuickBooks can also handle prepayments, down payments, and overpayments. In this chapter, you will look at the different ways you can handle customer payments. To enter a full payment you receive, select the customer or customer job from whom you are receiving the payment from the Received From dropdown in the Receive Payments window. Any unpaid invoices for the selected customer or customer job then appear at the bottom of the window. Select the date the payment was received from the Date Calendar selector. Enter the payment amount into the Payment Amount field. Then click the Payment Method button in the window that corresponds to the method of payment received. If needed, you can click the drop-down arrow that appears in the lower right corner of this button group to view additional payment methods in a drop-down menu. You can then select the additional payment method from this drop-down. For credit debit payments, you can select a credit card type from the payment drop-down and enter the credit card number and expiration date into the card number and expiration date fields shown in the drop-down menu that appears when you click the credit debit payment button. Then click the Done button in the drop-down menu to record the credit card information. If they pay by check, then enter the check number into the check number field. At the bottom of the window, ensure that there is a check mark in the check mark column to the left of the invoice against which you are receiving payment. Note that all funds received within this window are placed into the undeposited funds account by default. When you are finished, click the Save and Close button to save and close the Receive Payments window. If you have other customer payments to process, you may find it easier to click the Save and New button instead to save the transaction but leave the Receive Payments window open so you can continue entering customer payments. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.